Hi again. So this little video is just going to show how I attach these into pairs. This is for the beanies for babies in South Africa. I make a whole lot of little cuttings. And to do that, I just use my phone. And I basically wrap the yarn around my phone. Whoops. <laughs> okay, it's not normally stuck. But anyway, you get the idea. I wrap it around as many times as I need to. And then I cut it. And there we go. I have my little strings. Then what I do is I match up my pairs. So I have all my socks. Booties, socks. This is for one, this is from one ball. There are 12 of them. I just squash them nicely. So I can make sure that they are similar sizes. I mean they're pretty they're pretty much identical, but I tend to still want to. I'm standing up normally, I'm sitting doing this job. So let me just make sure that the light is shining nicely. Then what I do is I stand them up like that and I try and match the openings. So that's quite a big opening there. That's also a big opening. Put those two together. It's also two big openings. It's probably totally unnecessary to do this, but as long as they come from the same batch of yarn is probably good enough but and then I try to match up the fatness the thickness of the the rib just to see if they're more or less match sometimes the tension just is much looser they seem to be okay Okay, so I'm happy with those. Then what I do is I take one of my threads, put the two ends together. Let me move these other ones out the way so that we can see clearly. I use a crochet hook. The smaller the better. I think this is a 2.5 mil. So you don't want to ruin your sock here, so you've got to be careful. I go through the two socks, catch the yarn, which I'm holding here with my finger, and I pull it through. Usually goes better than this. You know, when you demonstrate something, it doesn't work. I go through all the way, and then I make a few chains. And this ties it together. See, it's still loose enough. So when it gets to the other side, the lady, she can cut them off. She has to cut this off to put it into the little bag. But they need to be together so that when they are um, pairing up all the socks and hats, they don't want to have a whole jumble of socks. They want, to, they want the socks to match each other. So I can't just throw them into a bag and hope that on that side they'll sort them out. We are asked to collate them together. There we go. And then I just continue doing that until I have a whole pile. So I've collated them together and in theory I should have six pairs. One, two, three. Three, four, five, and six. I'm going to bring my bag over. Here is my bag. Let me see if I can zoom out even more. So this is a sealed bag, 
I've actually written on the top of the bag, beanies for babies, before I started packing it. And I have a piece of paper in here, which I write out how many I've added. And then the little rows are inside there. <laughs> it's not that easy because you can't really see with the light. Let's see. Here we go. So that's how it goes inside. They get packed in. And then once that row has started, I mean it's full, then I'll start the next row. So there we go. And then I put the little piece of paper back in with the pen and then I close it up for the next time.